welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. It truly seems like every time I sit down to share a haul video with you all that it is a rainy, gloomy day. And we are having a bit of a weather day here in Alabama. We actually had early dismissal from school today because of the potential weather. Um, but we are going to go ahead and share this haul anyways because I had already planned to. And I'm excited to share with you these items. I'm going to be uh, sharing a haul from two different stores, Marshalls and Dirt Cheap. And I'm kind of going to tell you my ideas of what I'm planning to do with these items, how I'm planning to style and decorate them. So let's go ahead and get started with the haul portion. If you're excited about today's video, I would appreciate a big thumbs up. Okay, I'm gonna start with the two non-home decor items from Marshalls first. But the first thing that I got was, um, I love to look at their outfits. I feel like they have a um, pretty good selection most of the time and therefore pretty good prices. This is from the brand Little Lad. I don't think I've had any um, anything from there before for Rowdy, but I got this four piece set. So it comes with two shirts, that's the first one. And then it also comes with this one. And then two pair of shorts. So it comes with a, like a ribbed navy pair and then also a like khaki color. So you can, you know, mix and match these. Um, it says four piece sets, wear me four ways. So I really think that I will get my money's worth out of this. It was only $14.99. So $15 for two shirts, two shorts. You can't find that many other places. So I'm planning to go ahead and get this washed up so I can get it hung in his closet and it'll be ready for him for the upcoming uh, summer season. These are really good outfits just to throw on. Um, they're easy to wash and they don't really wrinkle. So really like to find these whenever I go to Marshalls and like I said, just easy summer outfits to throw on him. All right, the next piece that I got that's not really home decor, um, but it is something that we have needed for a while. It's an oil and vinegar bottle. And I usually pick these up from places like Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, they're really good. I put our olive oil and vegetable oil in them, keep them right by my oven. Um, and the other one that I had, the top was starting to rust. So I'm excited to get this washed cleaned up and get my olive oil put in here. I cook with olive oil a lot and it's just easier to have this right there ready to go, easy to pour out um, instead of having the big olive oil bottle. So really glad to go ahead and pick this up. This was only $3.99. I think these are great prices. Um, you can't really find these for, or I haven't been able to find these for that price anywhere else. So definitely was excited to pick this up and ready to get the one I have switched out for this one without the rusted top. All right, the next new piece that I got, and I'm excited about this, in my coffee bar area, I have a Ray Dunn coffee canister that I keep our K-cups in, and then I have a little, um, like container beside it that I keep our sweet and low in. Well, I've been on the lookout for a Ray Dunn canister to go over there that said sugar or something like that, and I haven't been able to find one, but I did find this. It's not Ray Dunn, but it's the same color, and I think it will flow really well. I really like this canister. I like the um, detail on the top, and this was only $5.99, so I thought that was an excellent price, and I'm planning to put our Sweet and Low in here. Um, the Sweet and Low is pink, and if uh, you're not new to my channel, then you know that I like neutral decor. I don't, or I knew I didn't want a clear container to go over there because you would be able to see the pink um, Sweet and Low. And I know it's not really that big of a deal, but I like it better if you can't see it. But this is just, you know, easy to pop the top off, grab what I need in the mornings when I'm making our coffee, and it's just so cute. So I'm excited to put this over there with my Ray Dunn coffee canister, and I think it's gonna just make that area look a lot better. And this being black and white, I think it'll just flow with everything I have over there. So I'm excited to pick that up at such a good price. Okay, I have two more things from Marshalls, and um, I've shared this before that I am working in our master bedroom, little by little, just trying to get some projects or decor for that room. Um, I have done a few things, like over the last several months, I filmed it as I've, um, 
you know, done things in there. It's just taken a while. But one thing that I know I really want to do is make a wall, like a gallery wall with gold picture frames. And my plan is to put black and white photos um, in them on that wall. And I think I'm pretty close to the amount that I wanted to get. I did find several of them at the thrift store. Um, like I said, just been on the hunt for those for several months. But Marshalls is a really good place to find frames as well. So I have two and they were both $6.99. I got these from two different Marshalls. But the first one that I picked up was this one. And I love the detail on there. It's kind of like a scalloped detail. Some of the frames I have have a little bit of um, like gray or silver mixed in with the gold. Some are just gold, some are bright, some are more muted, but I think they're all gonna flow really well together. I didn't have one like this. And I like that this is a little bit bigger. Um, it'll hold a five by seven. And some of the other ones I have are like for four by six or smaller. So I'm excited that this is a little bit bigger. So that's the first one that I got. And then this one might be one of my favorite frames that I have gotten for the whole project. And it is another five by seven, but it is this really neat, um, I'm trying not to like get the lights and camera reflection on there, but you can see the different detail up there. I love the shape of this one. And like I said, I think this is different than any of the other ones that I have. So I'm so excited to um, get all of these together. You can see right there, kind of what the you know color scheme I'm going for. Um, I'm, it may be this summer before I can finish up in the bedroom, honestly. I've done little things here and there, and it's not gonna be anything major, but just adding a few touches in there to make it a little bit more cozy, and I really think that this wall is going to make a um, you know really big statement that I'm wanting. So definitely been on the lookout for gold frames for a while. I was excited to pick those up, um, and now the rain has joined us. So hopefully um, it's not too loud and you can hear me, but um, yes, I'm excited to add that to my little collection that I have going of gold frames. All right, we are going to jump right into Dirt Cheap now. That's all the items that I've gotten from Marshalls. And the first three, I know this is kind of comical to have picked these up in April, but to me, when you see a good deal on a pumpkin, you have to pick it up. I absolutely love fall. It is probably my favorite time of the year and favorite season to decorate for. And when I see a pumpkin for a good price, it doesn't matter if it's in January or October, I have to pick it up. So uh, the, I got three pumpkins and they were all a dollar a piece. They were regularly 10. Um, that was the regular dirt cheap price. I think these are all from Target. I think they are the um, either Threshold or Hearth and Hand line. Um, I really love that line at Target, but I think I can see the sticker on the bottom. It was Threshold. Um, but sometimes it's a little bit more than I want to pay. So I've seen these at Target and didn't pick them up, but found them at Dirt Cheap. I really like to go and see what I can find on um, the items that they have gotten from Target. So the first one that I got is this pretty brown speckled pumpkin. And I love... Um, I do have some color that I pull in at fall time, but I still love my neutrals, you know. And so then I got I got the bigger version and the smaller version of this pumpkin. But I love the detail on there, the pretty speckled detail. And I know that these will look really cute paired together at the fall time. So I'm just gonna save those for the fall season. And I'm excited to decorate those, pull these back out at the fall time and find a place for them. But for a dollar a piece, and this one may have even been 50 cents, I sure couldn't leave it behind. And then I picked up one more and I love this one. This was a dollar as well, but it is this pretty, um, it's kind of like a grayish tan color, like a concrete color kind of, and the texture of it kind of feels like concrete. So I really love this. I haven't, I didn't see this at Target. Um, I can't see the sticker underneath there. So I'm not sure if it was, you know, threshold or hearth and hand. Um, but I did see someone share this, that they got this pumpkin from Target. I just never seen it when I was shopping there, but I thought it was so, so pretty. 
But I just think these are gonna be so cute together whenever I decorate them for the fall time. And it will be here before we know it. I decorate for fall early because I love it so much. I like to enjoy it for as long as I can. So I was excited to pick up those pumpkins and um, so be looking for that in the fall time and I'll be decorating with those come that time. All right, these next two items are actually um, like a greenery piece and they are from the Threshold line and I'll see if you can see that, but these were regularly $25 at Target. I love this greenery. I have three of this kind of greenery um, that I've gotten all from Dark Cheap throughout my home. I will show you where I have those styled already. And I have a couple of ideas of where I want to style this. I got two of these, one still in the wrapper, but it looks just like this. I love the concrete kind of feel of the base that it's in. And it has like realistic looking dirt in there. But I just think these are so cute. And like I said, just just really realistic uh, looking compared to some other greenery that you can find. So I know where I want to put one of these in an area, um, go ahead and switch out one of the greenery plants that I have over there. And I think it'll just flow with the other ones that I have. Two of the ones that I have are exactly like this one. And then one I got a while ago and it's like a taller version. It has a different vase. I have one here and one at school. But I got these for only $2.50. I thought that they were $5 and I would have paid $5 for them. And then when I got up there, they actually rang up for $2.50. So I went back and got another one whenever I found that out. They were like 90% off, I think, um, because they were originally priced at $25 in Dark Cheap as well. And this one still has the, I haven't taken the um, wrapper off, but you can see right there, $25 but I'm so excited. I know where I want both of these to go. Probably won't be styling both of them in today's video, but I am gonna style that one. So excited to pick those up. And for $2.50, I mean, you can't even find like greenery from Hobby Lobby for that price. I definitely couldn't leave those behind for that price and for the quality of them. So I was excited to pick those up. I don't have a Target anywhere near me, so it's fun to me to go to Dirt Cheap and see what items I can find that originally came from Target. And I get them at a, uh, you know, discounted price. So Dirt Cheap does overwhelm me a little bit, especially if it's like messy and in disarray. But I still do like to go in there every so often and look around. I've been able to find some really good pieces for very affordable prices. So if you have a Dirt Cheap around you, um, I, I recommend going in there and checking it out. Like I said, it does get a little messy sometimes. And there are times I'll look down an aisle and I don't even go down it because it is just absolutely in a mess and I'm not, you know, I don't want to dig through things. But if I walk by something catches my eye, especially if it is like 80 or 90% off, do go check it out. All right, this next piece from Dirt Cheap, I have looked at for several months. Every time I go in there, I look at it. And every time I go, it's marked down a little bit more than the last time and a little bit more and a little bit more. Um, but every time it was still more than I wanted to pay. Well, this last time that I went, I think it was on, I thought I had my receipt. Um, I think it was on like the, um, oh, well, this is my receipt that told me I paid $2.50 a piece for those, but it was on like 70 or 80% off. So I think I only paid like two or $3 for it, but it is this really pretty on the bottom. It actually says, um, Hearth and Hand, it's from the Hearth and Hand Collection, Stoneware, Salt, Sugar, Canister. So you could put your salt or sugar in here. Um, that'd be really cute if you didn't have like the um, like grinder of salt or pepper, if you wanted to like get it and like sprinkle it out, that would be really cute. I'm just gonna use mine for decor purposes, but it has this really pretty like stone, concrete look on the bottom. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I've looked at it several times, uh, but I had to wait till it was a little bit more because I just couldn't pay $10 for this, um, especially when it's just going to be something I was going to be decorating with. But I love it. I know exactly where I want it to go. So I'm excited to get this styled. And I think I paid $280 or $3 for it. So right around that, 
that was a price I could pay. So if you see something in there and you don't love the price, if you can be patient, um, they will eventually mark it down as long as they don't, you know, run out of inventory. So that's what I did with that. When I just kept checking back, kept checking back every so often, finally got it uh, for a price that I would pay. All right, this next item, I absolutely love it. And now looking at it, it matches the pumpkin and also the little um, salt sugar container I just showed you. But I originally picked this up thinking I would use it to put my sweet and low in because I found this before I found the sugar canister that I am gonna use over there. But this is from the Hearth and Hand line. It is stoneware. Um, it says food safe, hand wash only. But look how pretty this is. Um, I haven't even taken off the tape but I have an idea of where I want to style this. I think it will look very pretty styled with this. I got this at two different times. I actually got this long before I picked that up, but I love this. I love all the detail on there. And I've just been really drawn to um, this kind of thing lately, kind of like a concrete look. And like I said, it's set with stoneware. I'm gonna be using this for decor purposes only as well but I'm excited to style this and I only paid a dollar 80 for this. It was another thing that was like 80 or 90% off when I got it. It was the only one I saw sitting on the shelf and I double checked it. There is like one little bitty black mark right there, but you can't even see it. Um, but I like looked to make sure it wasn't cracked or anything like that. And like I said, hearth and hand, is a really good brand. I love that brand. Sometimes they're a little bit more than I want to pay. So I'm always excited when I can find uh, that brand at dirt cheap. Okay, I only have one more item and I am gonna take it out of the box, but I want to show you how I found it in the store. So sometimes things are still in the box and I walked right past this, almost didn't even open it. Um, and then for some reason I went back down the aisle and I was like, well, let me just see what this is. Cause this was on the 90% off aisle. And um, it has, it had a sticker on the bottom that said $28. So I was like, well, if it was priced for $28, then maybe it's like a bigger item. So let me just open it and see. So like when I open it, it was still all packaged up like this. So let me take it out and show you what's in here. I was so excited. Okay, so when I pulled it out of the box, it looked like this. And I was like, is that, I thought at first it might be a canister, but it is from the Studio McGee line. And it is a decorative bookends set of two. So let me unwrap it and show you. Um, well, let me give you a little backstory first. If you don't know, I am a library media specialist at a school and um, I love to, decorate with bookends not only use them but i decorate with them i like to find different ones that i can bring in the library and decorate so that is where these are going to go you're not going to see me decorate with these today um but let me get it open and show you what it looks like okay and just in case you were wondering it was packaged very very well it was taped up and um, had the uh, protective things all around it so I still have to take this part off, but this is what they look like. And they are so heavy. I would guess these probably weigh at least five or six pounds. They are very heavy, maybe even more than that. They feel heavier than Axel and he weighs seven pounds. <laughs> so um, yes, definitely um, nice when you can find things still wrapped up like that because you know that they are gonna be in good shape and not messed up. Okay, finally got it out of the wrapper look at how pretty these are i love them i'm gonna guess they're gonna that they are more than five or six pounds like that would break a toe if it fell on there so i better be careful um it does have a little gripper on the bottom which is really nice you want bookends that have grippers if you're actually trying to hold up books believe me i know you want that gripper on there so look how pretty these are I love them. I have some old books that I like to display in the library. I'm planning to put this um, there, but you could use these as other things, like you could use that as a pedestal if you wanted to, but I am gonna be using them as the bookends. I absolutely love these, and honestly wish that I had gotten two boxes of them. I paid 280 for these, 280. 
and they were originally 28 on the box. I'm not sure how much they are at Target, but I know Studio McGee, they were probably more than that, or at least that. Um, so yes, I love these so much. I love the detail on there. They're a pretty gray stone color. That one has a little bit of um, like, you know, I guess that's probably just how it's made, just a little imperfection, but I love that. They are so heavy, I'm gonna have to sit them down. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to show you the items that I've picked up recently from Marshalls and Dirt Cheap. Definitely didn't get all of these in one day. I think Dirt Cheap, that was from three different trips and Marshalls was from two. So stores like that, uh, you know, just don't get discouraged if you go and you don't have any luck because it is uh, very possible the next time you go, you may find three or four things that you love. You just have to check back often if you can, and they do restock and move things around, especially like at Dirt Cheap, they'll move things each week or each or every two weeks, they'll move them to a different uh, price point, like a different percent off. So if you find something that you love and it's not you know, the price you want it to be, definitely check back. I am planning to go back pretty soon, and if they have another set of the bookends, they probably won't. I should have picked it up when I saw it. Um, but for $2.80, I absolutely love those. So I am, um, I probably won't use these until this summer when I decorate in the library. I'm gonna be uh, refreshing a few places. So I'll definitely bring you along for that, but I probably won't be till we're out for summer vacation. Uh, and I'm not sure when this video is going up, but when I'm filming this, we have about seven weeks of school left. So it's just crazy um, that this year is almost over. I feel like that, you know, the longer I'm in education, sometimes you just blink and you're like, where do the years go? So uh, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you can hear me okay. When I go to edit this, if, it, if you can't hear me, I'll have to refilm it, but hopefully I won't have to do that. It won't be the first time that I've had to refilm a video. I, one time when I was very new to my channel, I recorded an entire cleaning video and didn't press record, not one time. So I had to refilm the whole video. Hopefully this won't be the case, uh, but it is coming down outside. So hope that this will turn out okay. But I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'd love for you to leave me a comment down below and let me know if you shop at Marshalls or Dirt Cheap. Uh, or what is your favorite store to shop at? I'm always in the market for new ideas and new places to go. I hope that you all have a very blessed week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.